Nicole. Hello, hello. Hey, Nicole. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sue. Hi, Therese. Hi, Donna Sue. Hi, Lisa. Happy Monday. How's everybody doing today? Start of yet another week. Start of a new month. April. Hi, Patty. I'm well. How are you? Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Miss Edie. So we actually, it's quite warm here today. It's very, very pretty outside. But then I know that this won't stay long. It's supposed to get all rainy and nasty again soon. So hi, Helen. Hi, Joy. Hi, Carrie. How's everybody? Hi, Sandy. So um, a couple of things. Um, this this weekend is the bunny box class. Um, hi, Sandy Hinkleman. So um, if you have signed up for the bunny box class, you need to be in the bunny box class Facebook group. Um, hey, hey, Angel. Um, that's where the um, Zoom link will be, and that's where all of the um, recordings will live for you to, you know, if you miss something or you want to go back or do it again another time. So you need to make sure you're in that group. I'm pretty sure I have sent links to everybody. Um, if you are in the Bunny Box chat, that's not the one. It's the Bunny Box class. Okay, the chat is just where everybody kind of meets up to see if they're even interested. The class is where all the stuff is. Okay, so you need to make sure you're in there. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Helena. Hi, Kaylee girl. Um, so, um, hi, Trina. So everybody has their bunny boxes except for two folks, and they should have it within the next couple of days. Um, so... I will get that. Um, I will get some information posted in the group. Um, and then we will, you know, we'll get we'll get that going. And I'll post sometimes now. The only thing about Saturday is Trevor does work on Saturday. So we're gonna have to kind of figure out what's going on with the, you know, the timing and, and whatnot. So um, but we'll figure it out. It's not a very long class. Um, so, you know, we should be able to finish on Saturday, but if not, then we will do some stuff on Sunday. So anyhow. All right. So let me get my desk on the screen. I moved my mouse too soon. Hopefully everybody had a nice weekend with your family and friends. If you did anything for Easter, hopefully you, um, you know, had some some good time, family fun. Um, good evening, Jill. I, yeah, Nicole, I just kind of. <laughs> um, so, okay, so we are going to do, look at this beautiful tray. So I don't know if I've. I have so much round silver trays that I can't remember if I found this one um, when Troy Troy and I went out for, you know, the 50 million lives that one day um, when there was a lot of traffic or if it was, um, I, I just put lotion on my hands. So my hands are not sweaty. I just put lotion on my hands. So, um, hi, Linda. Not sure what made me think this is diamond painting needed one done. <laughs> Angel. Trevor's been doing those forever. Hi, Kathy. Um, so again, I don't know if I picked it up when we were out last, but anyhow, look at how beautiful some of this detail is on here. So I have pulled out some oldies but goodies. This one is actually retired, but we do still have some of her. This is Rosie's postcard. Um, and I don't want to use Rosie herself. I would rather, you know, get that butterfly, the crown and some flowers, or I'm looking at tea time in Paris and, um, get the, you know, the tea set and, you know, the book and, and whatnot. So 
I don't know if either one you guys like better than the other. Hi, Miriam. Troy, Troy, all of our friends are saying hi. You keep walking back and forth. Hi, Carol. So I don't know if you guys have a preference. So this is tea time, mm -hmm. and this is Rosie's postcard. Oh, my lordy B. It's PT time, y'all. It's PT time. Tea time, roses. <laughs> okay. Hi, Angie. Tea time. Tea time. Hi, Leona. Uh, yeah, I know, Nicole, that's the reason why I like this one is because of that butterfly. But, um, well, I mean, I, li I like it, but, you know, my draw to it is the butterfly, obviously. But then this is always, you know, this one is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we do have this one in scrapbook paper as well. Thank you, Leona. I can't have one in the house or I get nothing else done. Hmm. I don't see a lot of tea time being used so much. Really? Tea time's uh, one of our fa my favorites. PT time, yeah. So it looks like you guys are seeing tea time. God bless you, son. Every time you look out the window. So we will look at tea time and I am going to, my box keeps falling that I set right up here. So I pulled it down. Oy, now you watch, everything's gonna fall out of it. Love to, hi Mary Casey. I know tea time is a favorite. I actually did um, an apron for, um, Teresa Renee and at tea time is on her apron. Love them both, but postcard. Um, Troy Troy always sneezes when he is out, when he sees the sun. So as soon as we walk outside and there's sunlight, he sneezes. As soon as he looks out the window, you guys hear me. I always say God bless you to him a lot. Anytime he looks out the window and there's sun beaming in from the window, he sneezes. Um, so. He always sneezes um, with the sun. Okay, so hi, Sandy Clean. How are you? So I want to get, so I'm obviously only going to do this inner, inner rim. And then I've pulled out some delicate metallic paint, some pint art um, foils. Um, so let's see if we can fill where this is, and I want to get the teacup kind of centered in there. So I, Nicole and I did a live yesterday, and we spent some time with some of you guys um, yesterday during Easter, but did anybody else that we didn't see yesterday, did you guys get up to anything this, this weekend? To get to see some spend some time with some family and friends just have a relaxing weekend hopefully you didn't have to go out and travel anywhere because my goodness traffic was bad everywhere you can always tell when it's a holiday weekend because Jeez, everything is always backed up and crazy. So I'm just taking a score tool um, and just going around and just kind of finding. It's a little harder where the, the points are. So I'm trying to make sure I, you know. And then we'll just water cut in there. So you can use, if you want to use your fingernail, you want to use, you know, whatever you want. But then I always find that it's easier to turn it around. Um, you can see your score a little bit better when you turn it to the back. Hi, Julie. Thank you. Hi, Margaret. Thank you. Hi, Miss Linda. Hi, Sandy Cooper. Thank you. Hi, Annette. My goodness. Can you do a fabric one, maybe a tote bag sometime? Sure. I have a 
gajillion tote bags. Like I, I haven't done um, textile in a while. I call I call it a marathon yesterday. Yeah, it was a long one. Yeah, two kids to see mother in law in the nursing home. Made pictures and gave her some candy. Aww, that's so cool, Angel. Kind of a random question. I usually paint over white. The bonding primer and then decoupage over that. But can you just decoupage? Yeah, you can if it's already white. But I usually don't. I will usually put down a coat of white, which I will do. Um, I will get Waverly and put. But that's just my personal preference, Cindy. Um, but you don't have to if it's already right, white. I actually put um, Rust-Oleum bonding primer in white on the top. And then on the back, I did Rust-Oleum in black. Um, so, but that's, you know, I just paint it. It's personal preference, but you don't have to. Hi, Sheila Teigen. Um, hi, Michelle Jones. How are you? Hint, hint, you're going to be doing fabric in May. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. not stopping for long. Have an early light. Okay, no problem. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I was able to spend time with my kids and grandkids and some friends. It was a really nice day. If you have seen the pictures, one of my friends took me trying to be young and strong. And that's awesome. It sounds like you guys had some, some good family time. I love that. Had a vendor show Saturday and cook for family. Ooh. Hi, I've been watching your mannequin shoes and purse video all weekend. Oh no, Catherine, that's like five videos long. <laughs> good luck with that one <laughs> that's like what i get teased about that's like the the one live that i did that took like five five of them <laughs> i mean i loved it i had fun but my goodness that was um it was a, there's a lot of those videos for sure <laughs> All right, I just was I just filled up my my water pin. But one of my tactical units. Oh no, Sharon. I'm so sorry. I know Troy Troy. I don't know what I can do about that, son. Okay. So I always tell you guys I do not put um water on my score line, especially in this case where um, you know, it's it's a very um you know the shape is not a circle it's not a square you know it's got little cuts and whatnots in there so i'm gonna go outside of the score line and i don't mind if it's actually a little bigger because then i can you know fix it afterwards but if i come in and i make it too small then i'm gonna have to do some color match painting and I feel like I missed a, a little diamond cut in there. So I'm just going to. Um, now, if you don't want to do a water cut, you don't have to. You you know, you could rip it um, dry as well. Again, that's personal preference. Um, I just find that it, you know, it's e either way. I ripped it both ways. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Diane Dunkelman. I love saying your last name. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Hi, Renee. How's everybody? So did anybody get today off? Or did you get, you know, I don't, gosh, I, nobody's in school. Well, Trevor has spring break this week, so he didn't, we didn't have to drive today, but, you know, his, his breaks are not the same as when they were like in, you know, high school, middle school. So I never know what holidays are working holidays anymore. I mean, the post op man came, so I guess it's it's not a, a government holiday, I guess. I'm good, thanks, Renee. No day off. Aww. Oh, Carol, thank you so much for the stars. Okay, so again that's kind of our oh gosh hold on y'all i always i need to get close you know i tell you guys the leg to the chair 
It's always in the way. Can't scoot in. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Kids are here. Um, I think it isn't it. Um, we have a stars party. What? No, not no. It says um, activate a stars party. I was like, wait a minute. Um, there's no stars party, but thank you, kids. Yeah, so I think it's spring break for most kids, right? Okay, so again, see there, I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, you guys can. So there's little like V cuts. So I'm just going to come in. I'm going to get this to where I want it again. And then, Sophie, you must need to go to sleep, honey. <laughs> But Sophie's tired. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the time to score the little V cuts out. And since I'm not working with so much paper, I will go around again. But I know, Pops, I can't fix that phone. You're going to need to get your other phone. Troy, Troy. So Troy's done something to his phone to where I'm thinking he's got a, a virus on the phone because the touch screen only works. You know what? The touch the touch screen only works for a minute and then it stops working. And so it's you know, giving me a run for my money because usually I can fix most technology. But um, I've reset the phone. I've put it back to, I've put it back to, you know, factory settings and it's still, still not doing what it needs to do. So it's frustrating him. Okay, so I am just going to do the little V's out. I am going to do it dry. Um, this time because I don't want to wet too much of the paper. You guys, what on earth? Holy guacamole. Guys, thank you so much for the stars. Terry, my black cat says hi. She gets happy when she hears your voice. Hi. <laughs> What's her name? Oh my gosh. Nicole, Helena, Sharon. What do you y'all? Thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate that so much. You guys know I never expect them, but always appreciate them. All right. That one just kind of got the waffleated, so. All right. Again, it doesn't have to be so perfect. If you want to do some color matching, you can. I just know not everybody likes to color match. Um, so, you know. Aww, thank you stars party y'all thank you so very much but you know this girl she don't i don't i save you guys by not you know singing or doing anything crazy you guys would ask for a refund <laughs> i started singing like give me my stars back please please can i have my stars back mm. i know papas i cannot I cannot. I I cannot. I can reset it for you. It's going to work for a minute, but that's it. All right. So we've got it good enough for now. Now I'm going to use my decoupage glue ultra mat. And then, um, but first, well, not doing that yet. Let's paint this first. So I am going to put down a layer of, and I just always use my Waverly chalk paint um and plaster won't mm. dance even for me mm. actually i can i can dance mm. i just mm. 
Troy, mm. hold on, bud. I I will try to reset it for you, but um, yeah, I used to dance, like dance, dance, but um, did Hawaiian hula dancing for a while. So dancing, I have rhythm, but singing, no, 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 uh, uh, not this girl, no, no. All right. So again, personal preference, you don't don't have to paint over your bonding mm. primer. Um, but I like to, I'll reset it, buds, but it's only going to work for a minute. So also sometimes like I sprayed this, so it gives a, you know, a pretty good coverage, a pretty good layer. Um, when you're using the Pentart bonding primer, it's a, it's kind of, it's on the thinner side. So sometimes you don't have a full coverage. So you may choose to want to, you know, put a layer down, but again, personal preference, totally up to you. You just want to make sure when you're decoupaging, you are on a lighter base. Troy, it's not charged. That's what the problem is right now, babe. Put it on the charger, Bubba's. Jill, did you guys change times now? Hi, Lori. Hi, Luann. Jackie Bates, thank you so much for the stars, y'all. Um. I think we, so are we at regular, we're back to our regular eight hours, right, Jill? I think, I think you're back to being eight hours ahead of me now. I love all of the intricate detail that the, the tray has. So we're definitely going to use that and put some pretty foiling and whatnots on there. So yes, change on Sunday. This is better time for me. <laughs> Probably just when you were getting used to the funny time. That's usually what happens, right? You get used to the doggone time and then it changes. All right. So there's some of the little just kind of tapping in there because I can see where the bonding primer is lighter or thinner, I should say. All right, let's give this a dry. So Nicole and I did a duel yesterday and we were on for, I think it ended up being two hours, 9 p.m. Okay, gotcha. Hi, Sue Russin. Yep, Sue, so now we're on. <laughs> now we're all at the same time that we were before. Um, Yeah, so there's two people over on Crafty's Creations. You are more than welcome to stay over there. But the good majority of everybody is over on Terry Lightsey, and then we ha do have some over on YouTube. So, But you're more than welcome to stay wherever you prefer. Mm. Oh, gotcha, Joe. Yeah. Mm. There you go, Bubba. Yeah, just leave it charged for a little bit. Yeah, just give it a little bit of time. All right. So I am, like I was saying, I am going to use the decoupage varnish and glue, the ultra matte. I have a few of the ultra matte um, that I haven't, I need to use. I love the um, decoupage varnish and glue matte. But this one is, is good as well. All right. So you guys always see I like to keep the silver because um, a lot of the times I, you know, store my paints upside down. However, this piece you need to get rid of. So whenever you have this little carb, um, 
I don't know, cardboard piece, you need to take that out. What happens is if you take off this metal piece and you have just the cardboard piece there, this cardboard actually soaks up the moisture from your product and it, it shortens the life on your product. Most of the um, jars have this in there. You need to pull it out and toss it. You need to throw it away, especially if it's in your paints because it will dry your paints out. All right. So just keep it in mind. Anytime I, I do it. Hi, Drucy. I, I know. I do too. I do too, Deborah. Pick a time and go with it. <laughs> Woohoo. You made a hi, Cheryl. Um, all right. Let's get. So I am actually going to use a little bit smaller of a. Because I don't want to get it up past the little inner rim there. So I'm just going to come with a angle brush. Okay. And then as usual, we'll just do it in sections. All right. And then I'm going to use my squeegee and just push. So you want your, your edges to lay flat. So I'm going to push out. Okay, so your squeegee helps underneath move your product. So that way, if you've got, you know, uneven amounts of product underneath, the squeegee will help move it so that it, you know, disperses evenly, but it also helps with any wrinkles. Um, but if you don't have a squeegee, you can, you know, use um, like cellophane. Or if you're comfortable using your hands, that's fine, too. I just, I feel like if, you know, your hands, like I always have lotion on my hands, or if you have sweaty hands, um, I feel that sometimes it actually messes up the rice paper. Hi, AJ Creations. Happy late Easter. And then anywhere that I may want to take off some extra rice paper, I will do so once it's dried. What on earth? So yesterday, I'm glad we didn't have Littles that we did any Easter egg hunting with because sure enough, it was, started raining. Thank you, Juicy. Whose birthday? It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Drucy. Did you, it, is it today or it was it this weekend? Are you going to get to go do something, something? Go get dinner or something? You get any anything fun for your birthday? 
All right. Okay, so even after going around and cutting, I still have a lot of excess up on the edges here, kind of dry. I didn't want, I really wanted to make sure I didn't get glue up on the sides so I can go through and cut that. But you don't want to cut your paper when it's wet, never, ever, ever. So let's dry this and then we'll straighten up and cut that excess off. Quick hello. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Anne. Did I say hi to you? Thank you, Judy Stalker. Hi, Sandy. Go buy what you want at the Hoblog. What? Dennis, do you know what you just did, Dennis? <laughs> did you know what you just did? You gave this super duper green light. That's awesome, Juicy. What are you going to get? Are you going to get everything? Everything, everything? This is one of these and one of these and one of these. <laughs> All right, so I am going to make sure that I have my rice paper super duper dry. Then I'm going to change my blade on my fist guard, and we're just going to come in and run a blade up against all of this that is still loose. So let's get a new blade. Watch out, Hoblob, a tornado is coming through. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Is that, exactly. Just back up, just back up the truck. All right, so I am going to get this changed. So this is just the Fiskars finger blade. I always say, you know, you want to make sure you, when you're doing this, you want a very sharp blade because you do, you're not trying to cut the actual physical tray. You're barely cutting through to cut the paper okay so you don't you want to be very careful that you're not putting a lot of pressure in when you're doing this so i'm going to see I'm actually going to fill here in i'm going to let the tray just kind of guide me And you see with it being very sharp like that and very any barely any pressure, it comes right off. So I'm just hugging up against the wall, if you will, and letting that kind of guide where I need to cut. Okay. <laughs> Hola, Ari. How are you? I hope you and your mom and sister and family had a great Easter. Please tell Mama hi. Yeah, tell Dennis. You know, if Dennis, if you know, Juicy might need some, you know, support while she's shopping. You know. She might need us to help. Hi, Janine. I'm so I'm so scared to change my blade. Oh, oh, golly! I'm scared for you to change your own blade. For goodness' sakes. So you can see now how pretty 
like right we're getting this paper to chew up here and again i'm barely putting any pressure on and right here it looks like you can see right here i've cut when i tore i tore too much so we're going to save this piece and do a little we're going to do a little fix right there but if you can see like a cut line if you can see a cut line on your silver you're you're pressing way too hard way too hard or not even just silver right your your base in general I know Troy Troy's you're you're frustrated, but I can hear you, son. So for those of you who um were not on with Nicole and I yesterday, I did speak about um the house a little bit. So we did tour a house yesterday. And what on earth? What on earth? Okay. I find this technique is so much more precise, but it may not be for everyone. I'm not sure what that is. You mean cutting? Uh, you, yeah, I mean, anything is personal preference. If you're not comfortable cutting, I mean, you can get your water pin out and water cut it totally up to you everything is do what you feel is right do what you prefer i only do what i prefer all right so get this last little bit and you guys can really see how Pretty. Now it is sitting in there. Oh, actually, I guess I didn't start where I thought I did. All right. So now look at how pretty that is. Now, purposely, um, we are going to need to go in and lift because I purposely didn't glue a lot of the edging because I wanted to be able to cut, right? Because if you would, if you were to glue up on the sides here and then try to cut, you, you, it would give you a little run for your money. Um, so first of all, I do want to fix this little piece here. So this is the actual flower that I took off. I don't need to be exact but I am just going to take some of that pink, okay? Because I have a feathered edge in there, I have a feathered edge here. I'm just going to lay it down just like that. All right. And I'm going to get some of my glue. I'm going to put some down here. I'm going to put my piece there and then i'm going to put that down all right now i'm going to go ahead and take my blade and i'm just going to come around to the edges here and start now getting this down Huh? I am so confused right now. 
Janine, who are you talking to? Sometimes, y'all, you need to be careful. You're going to get, the book is going to get you. Oh, okay. Gotcha. This is where I had a lot of paper knocked down, so I know I'm going to need. And just as if we had like that, you know, we want the edges to lay, so I'm pushing out, right? Okay. Now, this needs to be cut right here where I added that piece. So I'm going to go ahead and let that be for just a minute. We are going to put a top layer really quickly on here. And then we'll get out some of the delicate paints that I pulled. So I did pull out the rose gold. Um, I pulled out the, I think it was the white gold, the one that has the green tint because I thought that would look pretty with this. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Tina. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Um, This paper is from Decoupage Queen. So you can find it at my on my Decoupage Queen link or you can find it on my TH Decor link and it's called Tea Time in Paris. And this particular size, I did use the A3. All right, so always just a protectant on top. Just because, especially because we're going to be painting. And if any paint gets down on here, I want to be able to wipe it off and not mess up my image. All right, so let's dry this a little bit. I'm going to cut that piece. Hi, Yvonne. Thank you so much. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, my Shelly Belly. Did I finish the vase from yesterday? No, I didn't. I did not. I did not. Okay, so I'm just going to focus it right here. So I can cut that little piece and then let's get out. So this is the delicate metallic in white gold. But as you can see, it actually has like a little green hue. So look at how beautiful that's going to look with that. And then, of course, I pulled out my rose gold, which y'all know is my favorite. All right. So let's just cut a little bit of this. And now no one will ever know 
that it was cut short right there. Okay. Hi, Wendy. Was working on a project and didn't realize what time it was. Aww. Do you guys, if you guys um, are not subscribed to my Telegram, it's a free app. I would, I would seriously think about it because I always send a notification 15 minutes before I go live. Okay, so now here's what I was thinking. We have the delicate metallic and rose gold, right? So this is the rose gold. And then we have it in the... It, the name is going to throw you off. It's white gold. The white gold is the one that pulls the green hue. Um, the dark gold is, if you're wanting a true gold, that's why I pulled this out for you guys. So you can kind of see, this is the white. This is the dark. The dark is the one that's probably a truer gold if you're wanting a gold. Okay. So I'm thinking... I want to paint, I wanted to paint in here, maybe the pink, and then just this little ridge, the green. What do you guys think? Hi, Charlene. Hi, Joanne. Charlene, you're up late too. <laughs> so good to see you, Charlene. Do you guys like that idea? So pink in here. And of course, we're going to trim this out. I just don't know what we're going to trim it with. I don't know. I see pearls because of how, you know, this. But we'll see. Um, so good to see you. I know it's late for both you and Sharon. All right, so let's start with this pink. And I'm actually... Just going to take it and give it a little stir. And then... So usually when you're painting with metallics, um, you want to have a, you know, a black base. The delicate metallics have such great coverage that I, I rarely, unless I'm actually doing black, I rarely um, will paint, you know, do the extra step of painting a black base. Uh, I will show you guys how. I won't have to go over this again with an extra, you know, an extra coat. But if you can see, that's just one and it's, it's, um, it's there. Hi, Mishana. Hi, Betty. Okay, so I have a, you know, how I do my flat brush. So I'm not going to worry about getting perfect edging right now. I'm just going to do the main of it and then I'll come in and do and line it out and all of that good stuff. Well, we're not going to do that though, Terry. So this is specifically why we do paint our, our little <laughs> top layer in case you get a little willy nilly. You have a minute to rub it off. Goodness gracious, these cars you get a little sunshine outside and all of a sudden all the motorcycles and the loud music and everything else is going by.
need to finish the house story. What house story? Also, if you guys are not part of the Crafting Chaotix group, which is my, it's just my group, free group, um, please do go in there. I love to see your guys' posts. I don't always get to comment and, you know, but I do see them all. You guys are freaking amazing. I love when you guys post whatever you're working on. It doesn't necessarily, you know, whatever your hobby, your crafting may be. You can, you're most welcome to post in there. So please, if you're not a part of the group. All right. Okay. Now I'm actually probably just going to work. Oop, I just threw that on the ground. Work a little bit out of the lid. So I'm just coming in with a flathead, tighter, compact brush so that I can get closer to the paper. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Betty. Gosh, torture and move my fan, and I'm over here having hot flashes like nobody's business. Trying to give me a spoon. So, yeah, I, I was like, wow, we're already in April, y'all. Already in an April. Next thing you know, and just time, it just goes by so fast. Feel like we just started the new year. Oh, I was talking. I don't know what the heck I got, how I got distracted. But so some of you were um, on yesterday and you heard me talking about the house um, that we went to go see. So we went to see another house yesterday. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it checked off everything that we wanted. So, you know, we'll see what happens. We're trying not to get to, I don't know, we're just trying to, you know, not get too excited or not, you know, get our hopes up or anything because it was that perfect and then next thing you know you know we're gonna get excited and somebody else will have gotten it or something you know what i mean so but it was absolutely gorgeous y'all it was gorgeous um yeah i know no, I didn't. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I did. I was talking about it, and then I just I went off on another tangent. But it, I mean, so it has a perfect filming area. It's got a bedroom downstairs and a full bath attached right where the my filming area would be. So it's it's perfect as far as where I would be able to still be in the common area because i can't be locked up in a room you guys know because i have to be able to hear and see troy so it's got the perfect space for filming it's got a perfect room that it's only got one room downstairs which would be where i would keep all of my you know crafting stuff and then um it's just enormous Everything else is huge. It's got four bedrooms upstairs, a big loft area upstairs. It's got a built-in desk for our Troy Troy. Like, come on. <laughs> but um, 
it's it's amazing it's you know but again it if we kind of walked out uh with the same the same feeling we had from the smaller house because it was almost like oh we don't want to get too excited because then if you start you know getting your hopes up and then all of a sudden it's gone you know what i mean so i don't know this is the the hardest and most irritating part about renting and not buying right because you can just go and you know if you go buy a house you can pick your lot and you know that that's yours and blah 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 blah, blah. when you're renting you have to you know however many applicants there are and who they feel is the most qualified blah 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 so <clears throat> we will see but it's it is it's gorgeous and the backyard is huge it, it's got a humongous beautiful park um like a block away for you know the dogs for troy everything so um hi elizabeth thank you yeah you know it's a, it's just now the one thing that um you know it has been so it was ready for move in on march 9th so hopefully you know i don't know what the what why why it hasn't been snagged up yet so hopefully that's a you know good thing that it's still out there um you know because and another thing is is they have been um you know messaging or they've been sending me emails because we obviously um oh i stuck my hand in it left-handed um we obviously well trevor now i'm an accountant trevor's going to school he's almost done you know with accounting we go in with everything you know what i mean we have everything ready put together in a file um so we will we have everything and we will you know put it all in actually after i'm done here so we'll see i don't i just again i don't i don't want to get my hopes up i don't want to <sighs> we're just ready y'all we're ready we're on you know we need more room it's just but you know if that's not the one that's not the one right you don't you can't get proof qualified for a, a rental yeah it's amazing so it's the kitchen it's a big open it's um open concept so the kitchen into the dining into the you know the living room the family room it's all open but then it has like a blocked off area for what but it doesn't have doors for what would be like could be a den or you know a study which is where i would film so it's still open to where i can still hear i can see um so and then with the bathroom and the other room there it's just you know it's perfect as far as where my stuff would be because obviously i know trevor's 22 year, years old y'all but i wouldn't want him in a downstairs bedroom by himself and definitely not troy but trevor wants you know two rooms because he doesn't want he wants a room for obviously just you know where his bed is but then he wants a room for you know like his study room and and whatnot too so all of that would be in the same area which is upstairs so it just the layout of it was all perfect all right so that is going to be the inner rim oh thank you 
And then I've bought in houses before, Betty. That's not you. You. I don't know how it works in in your. But when you're doing um, renting, it's first first come first serve whoever's most qualified. Okay. So now what I want to try, and if we don't like it, we'll paint over it. What I want to try now is painting this upper rim here this color. Um, and if we don't like it, then I will just pull the pink all the way up. Um, whoa, that brush is ginormous. But yeah, I've bought in houses before. That's not, that's not the thing. We're, we're still, we don't know, you know, what Trevor, um, you know, I can work from anywhere and what Trevor not having, you know, a, where he's going to be yet. We don't know where our, you know, where we want to actually stay. So buying a house right now isn't a good time anyways, but I don't know if we want to even buy a house in this town. So I'm, we're neither, I'm not ready to commit to buying a home here not yet not until he's done with school can you guys even see that yeah, exactly cheryl <laughs> Deborah, have you figured out what colors yet? Poor Deborah, I know you've made like samples for her and everything else. Have, has she settled on anything yet? Okay, let me get a good part of this painted and then we can see if we like this or if we think the pink should go all the way up. Because we can have the pink go all the way up and then do maybe up here green too. Or not green. It's the it's the white gold. But it's you know kind of hard to tell when you only do a little strip, so okay. So do we like it like that? I see white, I know. Or should we bring the pink all the way up and do up here green? Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Yeah, that's all we can do. It's not really an, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If not, then something else will come along that, you know, will work. But one thing we're not going to do is just, you know, settle for whatever. Not too much. No, too much pink. Like the green on both. Pink all the way up. What were you planning for the outside? Pink up. Oh, and there's Sue with his her positivity again. Bring the pink up. Okay. So we'll bring the pink up and then do some of the green up there, which actually makes my life easier. Actually, what did I grab that for? I want, there we go. And then I was telling Trevor too, I said, well, because it is the first of the month, you know, there'll probably be more houses up soon. Because usually, you know, people just don't move out at the, you know, in the middle of the month. Well, Usually, <laughs> I guess some people do. Yeah. 
blush and gold she can't change now or she pays or he pays someone is going to pay Someone's going to pay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It'll be worth it, though, all in the end. I bet you just can't wait until it's finally over and done with, huh? <laughs> Deborah, is that your only daughter? Or do you have another one? Do you have, is that your only daughter or do you have to go through this again? <laughs> she might smack me. <laughs> Hi, Miss Wanda. I love that. I couldn't imagine like a wedding planner because I'm sure that stuff happens all the time. You know, the bride changes their mind and, you know, wedding planners or, oh my goodness. Uh, that would, yeah. Make up your mind. Hey. Okay. Hi, Lori. Um, yes, Lori, they do. That would be the chameleon line. Um, when you're done with dinner, just message me and then I can help you find what you're looking for. But yeah, the chameleon line does. And there's chameleon um, pigments, there's chameleon paints, there's chameleon chrome powder, so, but yes. Yes, yes. One, one of each. Oh, one of each. Okay, gotcha. Well, <laughs> hi, Lynn. Hi, Holly girl. <laughs> I hope Holly girl had a nice Easter. Okay. Looking at how long it's taken me to do this. And like I was saying, you can see this delicate metallic, it just, it goes on amazingly and it, you know, it, the coverage is amazing. So, All right. So that was easy peasy. Oops, this way. All right, so we have our pink. So now 
I want to do something up here at the um, trim. So um, let's do, I'm going to pull out the dark gold, which is truer. It's a truer gold. Do we need this anymore? Oh, I have many. I have plenty. I have plenty. Thank you, Donna Sue. Okay, so now this is the gold. Owie, owie, owie. God, my hair. That pulled just one strand. That hurt. So this is the um, the actual, this is the gold without the tint, the green tint. So again, we'll just go through and paint. And then I will get detailed. And then we'll we will bring out this detail with um well first as always we'll go over it with some antiquing gels or waxes, but then I've also brought out some foils. I'm just making sure, especially like on the flowers and the leaves, there's not like a big gathering of paint because nothing looks worse than you have a big blob of paint. Big blob of paint. And so the back and the bottom underneath all of it, it's going to be this gold color here. A few days. I'm going in a cruise, but <laughs> are you? You're going on a cruise. Thank you, Catherine. Um, one hair. Oh yeah, one hair. When it pulls one hair, it's the worst. Um, up here, I knew I didn't want that green. Um, no reason. Who asked me that? Did you miss something? Somebody said that. No reason. Because we're going to be doing some foiling up here, I didn't want the green tinge up here. They're going south. I'm going to your. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wherever you guys are going, I'm not going, Deborah says. <laughs> I'm going the opposite way. So I got all excited for about a minute when Trevor was like, oh, yeah, I have spring break next week. I was like, yay. Oh, we still got it. I still got to take you to work. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> but we are in April. There's only a few more months of school. Almost done with this crazy schedule. All this crazy driving. I hope. No, I am. I am. I am. <laughs> no more. Y'all. Tell you what.
Yes, exactly. Light at the end of the tunnel. Which I'm already like, oh, good Lord, if he, you know, we do move within these next couple of months while he's still in school and working and moving and packing and who that is. Y'all might not see me for a few months. <laughs> I might lose my mind. <laughs> I might lose my bonkers. Because I am not one when we move, I can't, I can't live in boxes. So I am known to have boxes unpacked and out and decorated, you know, within the next few days of being there. Like I can't, there's something that makes me crazy about it. So we literally... And Trevor, funny enough, Trevor's the same way. So each time we've moved, like we move in and we get right to it. Boxes start getting unpacked. Things are getting put away. Decorations are going up. And, you know, we're relaxing and enjoying the new place. So I can't imagine trying to do all of that and driving and everything else yeah it we really are a perfect little team he um that's one thing sometimes there's sometimes where i'm like oh we'll just wait you know and trevor will keep going and i'm like okay well I guess we're keeping on moving but yeah he's that's one thing that is really awesome about when Trev and I do stuff like that together. We we're kind of on the same same wavelength, and we just we know what needs to be done, and we just do it. So now we're just going in with a smaller, like flat head detail, and just getting close up to that pink. Yeah, I can't. Charlene is a professional packer. She moved me three times. Whoa, eight, three times in eight months? Oh, man. Wow, we, that's a, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't, you know. I don't like moving. I'm actually kind of excited to move this time, though, because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be donated, a lot of cleanup. There's stuff, you know what I mean? There's, there's, we literally are, there's so much stuff that needs to be gone through. And not just my stuff, like, you know, we're talking Troy Troy phone cases and binders and you know, clothes from everybody's closet, just stuff that just needs to be gone through and donated. Because I don't want to bring, you know, we always take the opportunity when we do move is to always, you know, do a good cleaning and not bring anything that we haven't touched or, you know, we don't need or use, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, Lynn. Oh, I'm so sorry. How scary. Goodness gracious, Lynn. Um, the color is the um, dark gold. This color is the dark gold. Yeah, so, so sorry.
scary. All right. This is why I like the, you know, the flat, tighter head brushes. Because the uh, bristles don't splay and you can just kind of get in there. And you don't have to worry about the paint going everywhere. When you have the flat heads and the bristles are loose, when you push, they splay out. And then your paint ends up going in places you don't want it to go. Now, what would really be helpful is I pulled out the doggone Lazy Susan that I've made for myself. You know, but... Why would I do that? Thank you, Patty. Almost getting there. I know it's just so fun watching paint dry, paint, watching someone paint. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, um, blood clots are there. It's that's scary. I um, I always worry. When my um, my dad had a couple of surgeries, and he actually had a blood clot in his leg, and it's, it's pretty scary. Getting there. Hi, Teresa Cherry. You were on the wrong page. Where were you on Crafty Creations? It's okay. You guys could be wherever you like. Yay! Just this little bit, and then we can be done with the painting. Okay. And ta-da! So that's what we have. Put these in the water now. Think so. Ah, thanks, Deborah. Is that the same pink on your nails? No, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> kind of looks like it. All right, let's dry this up a little bit. And then. Pretty dry. Just want to make sure. Let's take a little bit. It 
so now I really want to bring out, um, you guys remember the pink tray that we foiled? So I'm going to do some of the foiling again. I actually have um, a couple of, well, I have a lot of colors pulled out here. So because there is so much detail on here on these that I thought it would be really pretty to do some foiling. What I'm trying to think though is if I want to crackle the inside of this pink and I think I might but I won't do that while when I'm on here with you guys so that it doesn't bore everybody to death but I'm thinking I'm going to crackle in here. In here. <laughs> All right, so let's get a clean cloth. I'm just going to get the Umbra. I'm going to work it into my brushes always, and then we're just going to what? I've been mopping and listening. This is so. Oh, thanks, Sheila. Okay, so I'm just going to come in. And we're gonna really work it in here because there's so many little depths and little crevices. I really want the umbra to soak or soak, sit down in there. Okay, let me bring you down a little bit. There we go. Then I'm gonna take a soft cloth and I'm just going to wipe some of it back. So now you guys can already tell from here to here what happens when you put in a little bit of dimension. And I always say you can put as much or as little as you like. But I'm making a point to really do circles and get it in there because when you wipe, right, you wipe off the high points. Okay. So I'm really working the brush in there because I want it to sit down where natural shadows would happen. Okay. So if I just do this and I wipe, I'm a, it, it's all for naught, right? So... I'm, and then you can see also, I always talk to you guys about where to hold your brush. So because I want a lot of pressure, I want that product in there. I'm really close at the very end of the ferrule. And I'm going in circular mo motions, both counter and clockwise. So that way I can work it down deep in there. So when I wipe it back, it's gonna sit down in there. Now, obviously I can, you know, get down if I wanted to, I can really wipe all of that out, but that's, you know, defeats the whole purpose, right? Always your favorite part. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna choke up and I go back counter and clockwise and then really get it down in there. Now, if I'm doing a highlight, I hold the, you know, I hold it way far out and I just flick the brush just to touch the tops. Okay. So again, you can see now, right? And I bring you out. You can tell where the tray is done and where it isn't done, right? So, so I don't know if you guys just seen what happened right there. <clears throat> But I dipped in there and I didn't work it into the lid. So a big heavy deposit went in there. It's not that big of a deal, but now I've got to work it so that it disperses 
evenly and it doesn't have a big clump of product down sitting in there, right? So that's why I always work it into the lid. Ah, that's awesome, Catherine. Thanks, Nicole. You're so good to explain everything as you go. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Sheila. I try. <laughs> All right. So then let's get this little piece. And it just made so, I mean, you can tell, just it made so much of a difference just doing that little bit, right? What I am getting off is just in the inner here and in the inner rim of this. All right. Thank you. What is what it what is separates? Wow, it just makes it okay. <clears throat> so now what I would like to do is again, um, there's so much detail. If you come down, there's you can see the flowers, you can see the leaves, right? So I pulled out some foils because like the bird tray, it gave such a pretty, um, just a little pretty kiss of something, something on the outside. Um, I'm looking at the colors to see what I want to put out there. Okay. So again, when you use your um, foils, your velvet powders, anything like that, your decor tacky glue is your, you know, is my um, favorite. Uh, you, but you, if you don't have decor tacky, you want to use something very, very sticky. Hi, Regine. So let's start off. Can you guys even see? Yeah, I brought you down. So I'm going to take some of that decor tacky, just like before. I'll do, you know, a couple with you guys, and then I will do uh the rest of it off camera otherwise this becomes quite boring and tedious so we're just gonna take and i just want the leaves or the petals i should say hold on y'all I'm trying to see what this is and that looks like leaves it doesn't look so much like the petals so we'll just do a little bit of it okay now i am going to paint um you know what hold on i'm looking at this green and I'm wondering if that green is a little too bright. So I'm looking at some other colors that I have because I also do have like the galaxy flakes. Okay. These are in the bottles. They're not, um, they're not sheets. Hobby, hobby, but I think both greens are kind of the same. So, ooh, what did I take that out for? So I might not do the green, and I might just do more of the gold. 
Um, for the accents on the leaves, we will see though. Let's see. So I know I want to take. So we're not, I'm not trying to get everything just for some little accents, for some little pops of color. Onyx, what do you hear, Mama? So with the decor tacky glue, same thing when you're using velvet powder, that area, wherever you put that glue is going to stay tacky until you put something on it, right? So the last thing you want is for your tray to be sticky or whatever you're doing to be sticky. So um, make sure you, you know, you either put velvet powder on there or the foils on there because it will stay sticky, which means it'll attract dust um, if you don't put something on it. Hi, Miss Luca. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, the little details are always a big thing. Okay, so I this here is, um, let me bring you out so you can see the whole paper again. So this one is actually what they call the metallic bordon. Um, I don't know. Oh, hold on, y'all. I got to turn the fan off. You know, I only need to do that once or twice. <laughs> We don't need to do it every single time and have foil all over the place. Okay, so let's look at this, the Bordeaux color. Mm -hmm. All right. It's going to be too, too strong. So we'll go ahead and use the lavender, but I'm not what i'm really torn about is if we want to if i want to use the green so are these different greens or are they the same just one is bigger than the other i know miss lucas someone was saying if that was the same color as my nails <laughs> hi sandy triplet hi jackie i'm well how are you Okay, so the first thing I know for sure, and um, we're going to use the light purple, and we've used this before. Um, although it says light purple, it it goes beautifully with the pinks that um, it reflects. So we are going to use some of that again. So this is the light purple, and alone it does look purple, but when we put it close to or put it onto the tray it actually picks up quite nicely the reflections of the pink so i'm going to carefully because remember and you for the purpose of me just showing you um I went ahead and put the decor tacky on everything. But if you're doing different colors like this, I would suggest you do one color at a time or, you know, put down the decor tacky, do one color, then put down the decor tacky again. Just in case it flies, then, you know, you don't have the colors mixed in. So now, again, I'm not sure. I think I'm just... I think that this green is too, true, too, too green. So I think we're gonna go in with just the gold. And I think I have an open gold here already. So hold on, I do. These are colored foils. So they're just the foil sheets. So, same token, the reason why I'm not wiping that off yet, right, is because I still have all of this sticky 
the tacky out here. So I'm going to get all the gold on here first, and then we'll wipe that back or wipe that off. All right, so let's. And then what I will do is when I get off of here, I will go through and do all of the rest, you know, all of the other little flowers. Um, again, I just want to make sure before I start getting the excess off that that's all, all done. All right, so now I'm just going to take a brush. I'm going to kind of tap so it can go down. And then I'm just going to brush away. Now, when you're doing this, like you can see there's some gold here. It's going to, it will feel like it's sticking, but it's, it's not. Just keep, you know, brushing it off and it'll come off. And actually what I'll do is I have a little I have a little Troy Troy old toothbrush. Well not old, but I have a little Troy Troy toothbrush. And he obviously it's pink, so I took it. <laughs> Because if you remember, I didn't put any tacky in the middle there, so it'll come off. You just have to work it a little bit. And then let's get a little so you guys can actually see. Oh, this vacuum. Which actually I shouldn't probably use this because there's a blower on the other side of this. All right, so what I would do is, God bless you, son. <laughs> so again, to get the, the gold off where it's not supposed to be, if it's not coming off, like I don't know if there was something sticky down there, that I could just repaint. But over here, see, it'll just wipe right off because there was no tacky glue there. So again, to avoid that mainly, what you would do is not put so many colors down like I did. Just work on one area, but just for the purposes of showing you guys um, what it was, what it's going to look like. And if you come down just a little bit, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's some gold that has stuck right here. So I'll either go in with the, um, oh, actually, see, it comes off. Because there's no tacky glue, so there's nothing for it to stick to. Oh, uh, thank you. So, a little toothbrush. This is obviously a soft head toothbrush or the, you know, the um, natural bristles like that that you can just, you know, flick off. But like I said, I would personally wouldn't do so many. I wouldn't do two of the colors at the same time. So as I'm going around and doing these, I will do all of the pinks and then brush that off and then do the golds. But so you can see there'll just be little accents that'll be around the top here. And then I 
really do think that I do want to crackle the um, the pink just so we can get some more color and definition in that. So, uh, thank you, thank you. So, I hit the wrong thing. So, let me show you guys this up this way. Is it? I never know which way I'm going. So that's what that's going to look like. Again, I'm going to go around all of this. I'll do all the foils all the way around. Hold on, baby. And then I am going to crackle inside. And I don't know, because the way that we I cut that, I don't know if I'm going to trim the inside. I might. If I do trim the inside, it would be more with like a pearl, I think, because I think it would just look pretty with pearl in there. Um, but we'll see. And then obviously the back, I will paint the um, the gold that's up here. The back is the back will be painted that delicate metara, metallic dark gold is what it was. So anyhow, thanks for joining me today. Whoa. So mm -hmm. I will be back here again with you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. No, we mm -hmm. got to get up very early tomorrow. So you know, I'll be up and moving tomorrow. So thank you. Betty says, hi, Troy, Troy, she hears you. So anyhow, thanks for being here with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you tomorrow, same time, same place. Talk to you later.